Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Christy. Today I want to get started on this a study in lavender journal. I've been wanting to start it and it's been sitting and <laughs> I keep moving the stack around. But today is Monday and I just feel like I really want to get it started. So I took uh, one of my Amazon packaging pieces and cut it down to 9 by 6 and I took a couple of the pages and enlarged them. Um, so I think I want to use this page for the cover, although I love this. So I've got six pieces. I don't necessarily want the ones that have lines, but um, let's see where this would end up. If I do do about right there, I'm going to cut off a couple of butterflies. Um, this one might work. That would have that butterfly up there. And could cut off this piece down here. And then if we have this one, I might would cut off the top and right. I kind of like... I kind of like that one a lot. So let's do that one and let me find, I think this is the page that went with it. So this is a, a similar image which would be on the other side. So and, and this is where my um, printer started to lose ink but it's not completely gone so I think it's workable. You can see the, the butterfly is a little uh, darker on this one than it is on that one but I think that's okay because it's going to be on the back so let's let's do this so there again this is just a uh, packaging um, my Amazon envelopes that have the styrofoam in the middle they are um, you know I, I usually can get two journal covers out of one envelope but for some reason when I open this one it's it tore the wrong way and yeah so let's do this let's turn this this way and open this this way and just glue it down with a border all the way around So I hope everyone's having a good day. I've gotten a couple of videos made today and I've got um, the groceries all done and put away and tonight is date night so I don't have to cook which is always good. We have a couples Bible study that we do on Monday nights for the next six weeks. It's through, it's like our, our whole church is doing the study. And um, so we started last week and we decided uh, it's for six weeks we're going to do date night. So that is if he gets home at a reasonable hour. Last week he was on call and I was actually surprised that he didn't get a call. So, all right, let me just kind of adjust this. Kind of feels crooked to me. All right. Now, I did not glue here. I think I'm just going to tear there because I am going to be putting uh, fabric or lace or something else um, along that. Edge. So let me, maybe I'll do it this way. And that comes right there at that. Right there at that seam. And we'll save that in case we need it for something. Alright, and then I'm going to trim the corner. I already put all my scissors and everything away. So I think I'll just use my knife. I 
get it all the way around where I can see it. Okay. And then we'll bend these over and see what we've got. This is going to be really cool. I've been really wanting to do a grungy kit. Um, nice and grungy. I just hold that thought. Okay, where were we? My husband called. I have to answer the phone when he calls. Don't want to miss him. Alright, come on. Oh, my glue went back to the top of the bottle. Or to the bottom of the bottle. There we go. So, anyway. It's been a good week. With exception, I mean, I say exception. Everyone loves this weather we're having. I do not. Um... I am not a rainy day girl. I know we need the rain, but I just assume that it rain at night when I'm sleeping and not rain during the day when I want to go do stuff. So, yeah. I'm not kind of the uh, cat in the hat variety. You know, sit there, look out the window, and be sad. But the cat, the hat, cat in the hat never comes to my house to visit me and entertain me. So I will entertain you, although I will say it's a beautiful sunny day today. I hope it lasts. When I looked at the uh, Doppler radar, it said that there it would rain again at 2 o'clock. So um, I hope not. Or if, if so, maybe it's kind of drying out. It's supposed to dry out just a little bit, so like tomorrow will be it intermittent. Let's see how that looks. Oh, yes, I like that. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So, we're going to do the same thing on this side that we just did. And, um, yeah, so I think this is going to, I am not going to do this whole project online with you. I'm going to be working on it and, you know, periodically um, we'll do some things together because you know, you know, you've already been with me pulling pages and things like that. So I'm going to pick six designer pages. I'm going to pick probably, uh, 12 tea dye pages and then I'm going to pick some, um, other kinds of papers that are miscellaneous and and we'll put that all together and call it a signature. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. And I'm not sure what I want to put on the inside yet. Should maybe um, take one of those pieces that uh, I misprinted that, or I didn't misprint, but the printer didn't pick up the paper and so it didn't get double sided printed. So maybe we'll take one of those and use it on the inside. And then for fabric, I think I'm just going to use maybe some of my, I have some brown, like dark brown fabric that I think would be fun. So I kinda, I'm, I'm kind of not worried about leaving that extra um, eighth of an inch here because ugh, I can't do this upside down. It's not going right. Um, oh, for heaven's sake. It's kind of flat. I'm going to keep these just in case I need them. If I don't, I will toss them because I don't usually collage triangles and it's not, well, not really that interesting. Anyway, this is flatter than a normal like piece of chipboard or whatever, so I'm not really worried about that eighth of an inch. Plus, I'm using brown paper, so it's not going to be noticeable. Um, you know, 
all of that. And then I think I'm going to come along here and take that piece off. I think I'll just fold it back. That's what I'll do. That way I know right, right about there. Sometimes these pieces uh, that I tear off are interesting in collage. All right. Now we will. I hope I'm not cutting off too much of that butterfly. No, he's just going to be right over the edge. So I have a few things I'm working on. We're working on folios this month. So I did one folio video already, and then I'm going to do another folio video. I have the instructions written down to do that. And then um, I'm going to glue that down. And I have two other ideas that I want to do, but I'm not sure I'm going to have time to get them all done in February. February is a short month, and um, I've got so much going on with the, my mom-to-mom um, -mom group meets every week, and now I'm in this um, small group Bible study every week, and then I've got um, all these challenges that I've signed up for. Well, I mean, I haven't necessarily signed up for them, but I've committed to myself to do them. And, and I really want to because it seems like the more, and you guys have probably noticed this, the more scraps you use, the more you make. So, yeah, that was a little short there, but... I, um, I, I would like to use, uh, visit my stash, scrap stash, more often and maybe use that for some miscellaneous pages. There we go. All right, so we have that, and that's on the back. That looks cool. I like it. Um, I think I might come in with my, I have one of those little makeup, here it is these little things and I think I might come in with this just on on this butterfly to darken it up a little bit you can see this is I mean it's grungy and I didn't even add ink to that that's just the way it's um, put together with the layers and I haven't used any real ink, let's put it that way. This is all digital. But I wanted to make sure that it was such that if you didn't want to ink, you don't have to. So sometimes I don't feel like inking, but I really like how it looks. So this one, you really don't need to ink, but you can if you feel it's so necessarily, necessarily so like I do. All right, what kind of strip do I want? Let's, let's look at that. And then we'll look at the inside. I've got these. So I do have this piece that could go, it's a little wide. Um, that could go, uh, let's see. <clears throat> I do have some others. Let's see. Could you burlap? Got some burlap sheets. Burlap might be cool. And I've got this two, uh, we'll see, two yard pre cuts. I, I need to do a cover with these because I've got four yards of this stuff. But I've got some, yeah, just some of this coffee dyed stuff so I don't know what do you think the dark the burlap the burlap with the dark or 
the coffee dyed muslin. I kind of like that because I'm thinking with that I could put some kind of a a lace over the top. Now I need to dig through and see if I had something that would be I do have some eyelet but it's white. I need to coffee dye some of this or all of it. Um, I really don't like it white on there. I've got this. Ooh, I like that. But do I like that? Or would I like it better if it was on this? Because I'm wondering about this dark fabric. I kind of like this dark edge. And then maybe something like that. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. Let's do the inside. I'm going to think about that and then I'll decide. I, I don't think I want the burlap. Pretty sure I don't want the burlap. But I need to use up some of this lace at the bottom that I never seem to get to. I just feel like I need a little bit more ink right here. I almost wonder if I shouldn't put on, don't need to ink that, I'm, I'm talking out loud here to myself, just a little bit darker. Um, I think I want to put that piece of fabric on first and I don't need it as white as it is so I'd probably want it to come over an inch on this side and an inch on that side so two inches and I think it's probably three and a half so let's see yep it's three and a half because that's the standard size I do for the I think the last time I used this was for either my chicken journal or my farm little golden book journal. So let's let's snip it to two and a quarter. How about that? We'll do two and a quarter like that. And that'll give me a piece that is yeah, one and a quarter. I like that and I can use that for tags or whatever. I, when I pull stuff out, this is, this is how I do, and I probably have said this before, I pull stuff out uh, to use, and then while I'm working on said journal, I will leave it all right here in my corner, uh, in my little stack there. And it used to be a pub mix container, but that's full, so I need another pub mix container. Uh, but I will leave it here, and then that way, as I'm working on other ephemera that I want to go along with it, I will pull from that. So let's put, what I'm trying to decide, do I want this to be on the inside before I put the other papers down? I think I do. I think I do. So I'm going to start, <laughs> I'm going to line this up. Let's do that. And that'll give me some place to start. And do you want to use my fabric tack? And I'm going to start in the bottom, pull it to the top. We'll start at the bottom. This will also um, reinforce the spine. I think I'll probably come up about this far. I usually will overlap about an inch and we'll put that there. And then I will flip this over and line it back up.
Looks like there's a little bit more on the back side, and that's okay. That's okay. As long as it's straight on the front. Just let that dry out a smidge. I am going to measure this just to make sure it is good. Pull this over. Wow. Perfect. I got stuck in my ring. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So now we'll just put glue here. only coming down to about here. I don't need to go all the way down. And well, I do need just a smidge. that lace. I don't know where this lace come from. Um, maybe my grandmother. Yeah. Do I only want this on the front or do I want it all the way around? I think I'm going to wrap it all the way around. So, I really like that. Doesn't that just look nice? And then I'm, you know, eventually all these strings are going to be gone. So, yeah, I'm going to get all that fuzz off. And put this lace on the front. Okay. Putting the straighter piece um, on the back side. forgot about having this lace. It's nice. And then I will bring this all the way down to the bottom and clip it off. It doesn't want to stick to the fabric very well.
once you get the lace on there it's fine but I'm having to actually touch down to get the glue to stay otherwise it just sticks to the bottle okay Wow, that almost lined up perfectly. Look at that. With the design. Okay. I think I might trim a little bit more off. And just, I don't want it to hang over the bottom. So. That's going to be a nice and sturdy spine. I hope I can fold it. All right, let's get that string out of there. Okay. And then I'll look here. Yeah, that's going to be fine. I, I do want to let this um, dry. Uh, before I fold it because I well in my mind there's less wrinkling but especially for this side I'm not really worried about the inside seems like in the inside there's always some kind of a little bit of folding but it seems crooked to me and I know I measured it but once I put a if okay so it's like four and seven eight yeah it is a little bit crooked darn it I don't think I can fix that. But you know what? I'll put a plate or something and it won't appear so. I'm not going to worry about it. It's not going for perfection here. So let's pull in the ones I had before. These are all large. Okay, so it's these that were the ones that were not right. Even though these are double sided, they were not right. But these were right. They just, okay, because I was going to put this one on the cover, I think I'm going to put this one on the inside. Because I debated which one to put on the cover. So let's take and just cut that right in half, and that should fit perfectly um, on the inside. So hopefully I made that centered correctly. Five and a half, right? Oh, pretty close. Pretty close. A little bit more grungy on that side. Sometimes when you're designing digitally, you'll have something centered perfectly, and then you'll think, ooh, I want to enlarge this piece a little bit, and you'll pull it and stretch it and move it, and then your center gets off, so... That's what happened there. All right, so let's put these on. I want to put this here in the front and then this one in the back. Yeah, and that way we can put a pocket if we want. We don't have to. We have options. But the next thing I am going to do is um, I am going to cut out my ephemera because that takes me the most time of all. Well, with the exception of editing in my business, it's the ephemera cutting. That's why I got the scan and cut, and I really thought that was going to be the answer to fussy cuts. Yeah, no. Um, it's got to be calibrated, and I can't get it to calibrate cor correctly, and it just seems like there's always something on these machines. Um, they work so great on YouTube or or whoever's demonstrating them, but when I try to do it, 
not so much. So I am limited. But, whoa, I think this is not straight at all. Why is that? This, um, I wonder if the, um, I feel like the, maybe the packaging I didn't cut straight. Uh, I'm going to take that off. Okay, I want it to be straight on the outside. Like so. Well, it's not perfect. Okay, let's do this side. Let me uh, look at it real quick. Yeah, that works. So anyway, yeah, and a friend of mine just gave me a, um, a silhouette. If you have a silhouette or a Cricut, or a scanning cut, let me know in the description box, or no, I'll, I'll <laughs> I use the description box. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer, which one you have, and where you go for information on how to use it. Um, there used to be um, a channel, I still, st still subscribe to it, it was Melody, um, I can't remember the name of the channel, but she passed away during COVID. Her son and I believe her sister carry on the channel. And I, I loved watching that because it helped me so much when I got my cricket. But as the, I feel like sometimes when, you know, things are upgraded and I don't upgrade, I get left in the dust. And I haven't messed with my cricket in a long time, so... I almost wish I had put down the fabric and put the lace on the top, but it might have pulled up, so we'll just, we'll just leave this as it is. We're going to be sewing in signatures anyway, so it's not like it's going to matter, but I think that is going to be super cool. What do you think? I like it. I like it a lot more than I even thought I would. Um, but I've definitely got to put a big something or other down here to distract my eye away from that because that is going to bug me. I'm going to have like one of these. I'll probably use this one. Something like this. And um, put the name in there. I've got these punched out of plain cardstock and I have them punched out of scrap card. Uh, craft card with scrapbook things on it like I've got this one so I don't know maybe we'll double it I don't think I have a oh I do have a black one so I could put I could put a black one on here underneath and just kind of slightly stagger that so it kind of gives it a little pop like such I'm not on top of the flower, but just somewhere where it can distract your eye. And then I think once I put the closure in it, you know, you're completely uh, out of the, I went crooked woods. What do you think? I don't know. We don't have to decide on that today. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. I'm going to keep working on this and I'll come back periodically and, and show you what we what we've got. Thanks for watching. See you next time.